Early yesterday afternoon, Kyrie Irving did an interview on SNY, which is the acronym for the cable channel Sportsnet New York. And in that interview, Kyrie apologized once again for posting the Amazon link. Let me repeat that one more time for posting the Amazon link to the documentary titled From Hebrews to Negroes. Now, I want to play a little bit of that apology interview for you, and then we'll get back into the discussion. And I will also leave the link to the full interview in the description box below. Uh, several people have come out and said on, on your behalf that they don't believe that you are uh, um, anti-Semitic or you have any hateful ideation towards Jewish people. Uh, but just to clear the air, uh, do you have any hateful ideation towards Jewish people? Or are you anti-Semitic? No, I'm, I'm not anti-Semitic. I never have been. Um, I don't have uh, hate in my heart for the Jewish people. Um, or anyone that identifies as a Jew. I'm not anti-Jewish or any of that. Uh, so I, I just think I really want to focus on uh, the hurt that I caused or uh, the impact that I made uh, within the Jewish community, um, you know, putting some type of threat or uh, assumed threat on the Jewish community. I just want to apologize deeply uh, for all my actions throughout the um you know, the time that um, it's been since the post was uh, first put up, um, you know, and, and right now in this present space is just, uh, I'm very sorry that I had to uh, be used as, um, you know, some sort of example of what not to do when it comes to, um, you know, dealing with all of this. So I just want to deal with it better right now and just say that I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to not only the Jewish community, but to my family members and to my relatives, uh, because they know I stand for something bigger and I'm grateful now I get to explain myself. Um, again, uh, this was just a post. There was no context I put into it. Um, you know, I was just watching the video to learn more about my heritage, do a deeper dive into who I am. Um, and unfortunately, in that process, I heard some people and I'm sorry for that. Now, in this 21 minute interview, Kyrie apologized about two or three times for posting the Amazon link. But what was most interesting is that in this interview, just like every other interview and or discussion surrounding the documentary, is that at no point in this interview do they ever actually make mention of what is said specifically in the documentary that is anti-Semitic. And the reason for that is very simple, because if any of you actually took the time to watch the three hour long documentary, you would see that there is absolutely nothing in it that is anti-Semitic. And that's why it's still for sale on Amazon till this day. Kyrie Irving is literally apologizing for doing absolutely nothing wrong. But to be honest with you, at the end of the day, I'm not mad at Kyrie for apologizing again. He could apologize 10 more times and it wouldn't matter to me because I don't have unrealistic expectations of celebrities and neither should you. Whenever situations like this arise, we should expect that the celebrity is going to eventually apologize. It may take them some time to get around to it as it did for Kyrie initially, but eventually they'll set their pride to the side and apologize. But what we must understand, the common man and woman, particularly those of us who have a decent sized social media following is that once these situations occur, it is our job to leverage the momentum in order to expose the greater truths behind what's going on. And in this particular case with Kyrie, many of us have done a phenomenal job in doing so. And in doing that, there are many young brothers and sisters who have been exposed to many truths that they would not have known had we been silent or foolish enough to believe that Kyrie Irving was actually going to take some sort of revolutionary stance in the name of free speech and freedom of information. I think one of the biggest issues that we have in the black community is the fact that we have such unrealistic expectations of black celebrities. And that is something that we have to let go of because these celebrities will never bring about real change. Only we can do that. And to highlight that point, I'm going to close this video out by playing one of my favorite clips from Dick Gregory, where he spoke the God's honest truth about celebrities. And we should all take heed to this. The filthiest people on this planet is athletes and entertainers, okay? You with this show 
have done more for the humanities than 99% of all the athletes and entertainers on the planet. But they've even tricked you to believe that you ain't nothing but doo-doo and they something big. They ain't nothing but a piece of shit, man. All of them, a handful of them will break through. Like Ali, a handful of them will break through.